All right, so we are at Shiba Park. The entire park is centered around Zōjōji, the center of the Jodo Shu, or Pure Land sect of Buddhism, and uh, Tokyo Tower is also located here. It's easy to get here. You can use Akabanebashi Station, Shiba Koen Station, Onarimon Station, or Daimon Station. So I suggest Daimon Station because you can pass through the Daimon or the Great Gate as was intended in the Edo period. Look at that shit. It's badass. Zōjōji was one of the largest landholders in Edo because it was one of the two funerary temples of the Tokugawa shoguns in the city. And the choice of Zōjōji by the shoguns had to do with feng shui. Uh, this temple protected the city from the southeast direction where demons were thought to enter the city. Six of the shoguns were interred here and a handful of wives and other family members used to be buried here but today uh, actually there's only six uh, shoguns and two wives. But after the fall of the Tokugawa shogunate, the Shiba religious complex became one of the first national parks in Japan, and the ornate mausolea of the shoguns became a must-see destination for tourists from 1868 all the way up to World War II. Uh, this map from 1901 kind of shows you how large the complex was, and this is pretty much how large the park is today. In the Edo period, the entire complex was cordoned off by a moat called the Sakuragawa, the Sakura River. Uh, but after its destruction in World War II, the moat was filled in and pieces of the bridges were repurposed. But you can still find traces of it around the park. Um, they're mostly dry, but you can also find a grove of Edo period plum blossom trees called the Umeyashiki, or Plum Blossom Mansion. Now, in the Edo period, the temple complex was divided into three lots, south, central, and north. To the south were a shrine dedicated to the first shogun, and then the funerary complex of the second shogun and his wife. The central lot was Zōjōji itself, the, the main temple complex. To the north, there were two more funerary complexes dedicated to multiple enshrinements of shoguns. That would be the sixth shogun, Ienobu, seventh, Ietsugu, the ninth, Ieshige, the twelfth, Ieyoshi, and the fourteenth, Iemochi, who were all buried in a combination of those two uh, funerary complexes. The highlight of the temple was the unique and sprawling mortuary temple of the second shogun, Tokugawa Hidetada, and his wife. This was the first mausoleum dedicated to the shoguns and was built to the south of the main temple of Zōjōji. On the same complex, later, they built a shrine dedicated to Toshogu, the Buddhist Shinto hybrid deity of the first shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu. Sadly, everything was destroyed in World War II and uh, large portions of the park were sold off to hotels for development. So after the complex was destroyed by the Americans in World War II, Zōjōji and the Tokyo metropolis sold off most of the ruins of the southern and northern lots to the Seibu group, and another area of the park actually became Tokyo Tower. If you go outside of the park itself, uh, you'll find temples, shrines, and graveyards uh, that were once associated with the Zōjōji umbrella. Uh, a lot of these are unknown to most Japanese, and even a lot of Japanese history nerds don't know about these places. The rest of the series, uh, this is all designed as a special thank you to my patrons. So we're going to explore the major areas of Shiba Park, and while I promise to hit up all the big go-to sites, we're definitely going to go off the beaten path and look at some really obscure shit. And I think we may even step outside of the boundaries of the park proper. So I hope you're as excited about this video series as I am. So on that note, thank you very much for being a patron. Love you.